Hi, Fresh Fire family and our new family that are watching online. I just want to let you know that Fresh Fire Worship Center, we have been praying for you. And we have been praying that God will clean from the inside out. He's calling for purity. He's coming back for a spotless bride. And I've been working on this for a couple weeks, um, just marinating it, running it around um, in my mind for quite a while. So finally, I feel like, um, you know, God's ready to release it. So I want to share it with you. I'm super excited. So first one, second one. Like, which cup would you drink out of? You think it's obvious, right? So, we don't really want to drink from this cup. So, God was saying to the Pharisees, like, you know, you keep washing the outside of the cup and making sure that it's all spotless and clean, yet the inside is filthy. And there's sin in there. But the outside, oof, you make sure that that looks good. And that looks nice and clean and pure. But then this one, you might look at someone and you might think, ooh, you know, they're probably filthy on the inside. But yet God says, they're clean. They're clean on the inside because they love me with their whole heart. And they ask for forgiveness and they ask to be cleansed. Yet on the outside, I haven't really touched much of this yet, but it's okay because they have a heart after me. And really all he wants is this. He wants us to be transparent. He wants us to be honest. And we don't need to be afraid because God is a God of love. And he is a forgiving God, always. So I have um, 2 Timothy 2, 13 through 19. If we are not faithful, he will still be faithful. Amen? Because he can't be false to himself, but God's strong foundation continues to stand. These words are written on the seal. The Lord knows those who belong to him, and everyone who wants to belong to the Lord must stop sinning. So, if we want to belong to the Lord, of course, we're going to want to cleanse ourselves. But it says in Psalm 26 2, Examine me, O Lord, and test my mind and test my heart. He wants us to do it. He wants us to ask for help um, and search our hearts ourselves. Um, in Psalm 139, 23, 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there is any hurtful way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. So what I can tell you what I do is um, I ask God. I ask Holy Spirit if there is anything in me to bring it to the surface so that I can get rid of it because I want to be filled with Holy Spirit I want to be filled with what God is filled with so I can pour out and help others so I want to pray for you today and I want to pray that you will open up your spirit open up your heart and open up your mind and get rid of any pride or whatever you need to get rid of we have not arrived we are not all that in a bag of chips and guess what we never will be but 
He's not chastising us. He, he's calling us closer. He's calling us. You know, I feel sometimes that he's just like, just come, just come, just sit on my lap. Let me hold you, but while I'm holding you, I'm gonna tell you the things that need to be changed, the things that need to go, because he wants you to have peace and joy. He wants that to be overflowing in your life. So let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, I pray that we will open up our hearts and open up our minds and open up our spirits to what you want. Your will be done. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in us and through us. Help change. Help change come. Help us not be afraid of change because you're right there with us. You are in front of us and behind us and on the sides of us. God, I thank you. I thank you for being true to your word. And I thank you that your word does not come back void. I encourage you today. Each day seek. Each day search your hearts yourselves. And ask. Because he's a God who forgives. But he's calling us higher. Amen. Love you all.